Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your source filmmaker tip of the day. Today is tip of the day number 34. As always, thank you for tuning in, for subscribing to my YouTube channel, and for all the great feedback and comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, to all my new subscribers, welcome. It is awesome to have you, and I cannot tell you how grateful I am. Actually, I probably can tell you because I just did, but I don't know if I can really communicate how grateful I am to all of you. Uh, for uh, for all the great feedback and for, for you guys uh, tuning in to little old me doing these silly things. So with that said, let's move on to today's tip of the day. And uh, this one took a little while for me to sort out, but I'm glad I did because I'm sure that I will be able to put it to good use. And I know you will as well. And as I'm sure you can see here, uh, I have created a material effect that is an overlay that you can use to put um, text or pictures or any kind of stuff over the... Uh, viewport so when you're doing your animations you can have for example title cards or something like that now here is what i did to produce this particular effect where i've got source filmmaker tip of the day and just to kind of show you what it will look like i'm going to go ahead and uh, spawn a uh, a spy model here uh, and put it in the middle so you can see what uh, it looks like he said, and notice that the that the overlay stays in place no matter where I move the camera. And if I move the spy, probably should have done this before I started recording, but you know, whatever, we'll all get over it. So I can, uh, following the rule of thirds, I can do this. By the way, if you don't know what the rule of thirds is, look it up. It's good stuff. Uh, okay, so now I have a, a spy uh, and the title card here over the surface of this. So how did I achieve this effect with this uh, Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day overlay? First, uh, the font, if you're curious, is uh, a TF2 font. You can find it. Just search for TF2 font. And you can get it off of DA fonts. Uh, and it's free, so uh, go ahead and grab it. You'll also find it on the official Team Fortress wiki, along with a bunch of other TF2-related fonts. So for that... Um, uh, go ahead and grab that. Uh, all I really did was I used GIMP, but you can use uh, Photoshop or um, any other image editing program that can produce Targa files. It's TGA files. Uh, and what you're going to need to do is you'll have to create. Uh, what I did was I just used the text tool, uh, typed Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day uh, in red, and then I did I used a, a channel or excuse me. Um, layer to path, and then I did a stroke path to create the blue background. Uh, then I did another stroke to create the white background and slightly wider, so I could just stack them up. Uh, I'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to use GIMP or Photoshop. The point is that you can use your favorite image editing application to create whatever it is you like. And, and you will need to have a transparent background. That's this checked background uh, that will be important. And then when you export it, you'll need to save it as a Targa file, a TGA file. After you get it as a TGA file, you're going to need to pull it into our old friend VTF Edit. And uh, for those of you who have followed my tutorials, um, excuse me, you have seen us use VTF Edit before. I think it was number two or three talking about using, uh, uh, being able to import TF2 sprays uh, into uh, Source Filmmaker. We're doing a similar kind of thing here. Um, when you first uh, load this up, what you're going to do is you're going to click File and Import, and then you're going to load the Targa file that you created using GIMP or Photoshop or whatever you created. Uh, and it will probably come in looking something like this. And you can verify that your transparency works by just turning off, by checking the mask here, and that'll show the, the transparent area. Not to worry too much. Uh, generally, it's recommended you turn on, and I forgot to do that here, is uh, I think it's uh, no level of detail and no MIP map. Uh, but I don't think it'll really matter. That's for sprays, and I don't think it'll really matter for this. You know, but again, ex experiment. As always, I encourage experimentation. But after you have done that, what you're going to do is hit File and... Oh, actually, before you do that, you're going to need to make sure that Auto Create VMT file is turned on. That's important. You need to, to do that. Otherwise, you won't be able to load it into Source Filmmaker. Then you'll just say Save As, and uh, you will give it a... Um, a name. Uh, I chose titlecard.vcf or VTF, I should say, and it needs to go into your user mod materials. So Steam apps, common source filmmaker, game user mod materials, uh, and you just save it with a VTF extension, and it will automatically create a v, uh, VMT extension for you. And then you can do what I'm going to do here. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shrink this up a little bit so you can see it all. And I'm going to go down to the overlay track, and I'm just going to go ahead and actually delete the overlay. So I'm going to take you through the whole process. So 
uh, recapping. You got to use GIMP or Photoshop or an image editing application to create a target with a transparent background. Of course, if you want a full title card that covers the whole screen and doesn't doesn't have transparency, it's even easier. Just don't put a transparency in it. No worries. Uh, if you do want transparency, well, you kind of have to, to shuck and jive a little bit and make sure it works right. Once you've done that, use VTF Edit to import that target file and then export it as a VMT file or as a VTF file with AutoCreate VMT turned on uh, into your materials folder in your um, Source Filmmaker subfolders. Uh, so with, once you've done all that, you'll want to go down to the overlay track uh, and the subtrack effect and say add clip to track and then you're going to select material overlay effect. And that will give you this lovely material overlay effect. And uh, just like any other clip, you can change the length and so forth. And I'm going to hit Show in Element Viewer. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the material. And if it doesn't show up under User Mod, you might need to hit the Rescan button. One thing I've noticed is if you're making changes to your VTF files, that Source Filmmaker doesn't actually detect them until it's stopped and restarted. I've tried all different kinds of console commands, and I haven't figured out how to make it force it to refresh the material files. Uh, if you know how, let me know. Uh, but for now, if you make a change to it after you've loaded it, the only way I've found to uh, bring it in there, and so you see the changes to restart Source Filmmaker. So that's just a heads up. In this case, I've got titlecard.vmt because I auto exported that earlier. I'm going to go ahead and hit open. Oh no, what happened? Well, what happened was is that I got uh, the, the file was exported and it's got a transparency, but for some reason, until you go here into overlay color and you grab this alpha channel, just turn it down from 255 to 254 and that will cause it to, um, as soon as you turn the alpha down from, from max down to one tick down from max, which is 254, uh, that will cause it to uh, honor the alpha channel. And um, in short, if you're not familiar with that, the alpha channel is what defines where the transparency is in a target file. The alpha channel is essentially, it says, we're going to take a color that's not in use anywhere else in the file, or we're going to take a, sp a specific region, and we're going to say, this is the transparency, and then that we'll call that the alpha channel. It's, uh, it's such a tortured, bad way of explaining it, but it'll suffice for our needs here. Uh, but anyway, the alpha channel uh, in Source Filmmaker for some reason is rendered opaque unless you turn this down. Um, and if you feel like it, you can kind of make it even more transparent so you can get some interesting effects. And you can also do things like turn down the luminance and get some interesting effects. Uh, or uh, you might want to play with the hue of the saturation and so forth, but I wouldn't worry about it too much if all you're really trying to do is get in a title card which I have done. So now I have uh, my happy title card. And uh, I think I can even do things like, I haven't actually tried this, but I think I can even uh, do, maybe not. I guess I can't do fade times on this one. I think I can, yeah. doesn't look like I can actually do fade times on this, but it was a thought. Anyway, there's your, um, uh, your title card that appears in uh, Source Filmmaker uh, when you create a target file and export it as a VMT. And uh, that is your Source Filmmaker tip of the day. Uh, as always, I am your friend, Jimmer Linz, and you are my friends, my subscribers. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I will see you tomorrow with the next tip of the day. And in the meantime, enjoy using Source Filmmaker.